Cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? It's good to see you here, guys and girls. Good how was how, how was good evening? How was work today? It was fine. It was good. What? What about you? It was good. It was good. Nice. good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys and girls. It's good to see you here again. All right. Um, good to see you guys. So, how has the has how is the rain? How is the weather where you live at? Is it raining? Has it rained at all today or not? Uh, the weather in my city is raining. Oh, is it? where where do you live? I live in Apopa City. Oh, in Apopa? Oh my God, maybe it rains here. It's not, it's not raining here. Yes. I live near Mexicanos, but it's not raining here. I hope it does. I hope Both it in, in Apopa are raining. Raining nice. in this week. Nice, this week is raining. Okay. Awesome, guys, awesome, okay. In any case, guys, all right, nice seeing you. I see a lot of people early today, so that's good. Guys, um, did you finish section one, two in the midterm? Yeah, teacher. All right, I'm gonna help you right now with that, okay? Because uh, so before we move on, guys, I need to make sure that we have advanced with the platform. So yesterday we went over these, well, section one, right? So right now, guys, I'm going to give you, I'm going to help you with section two. So let's pay attention before we start the class, right? So section two, guys, uh, let's see the first exercise. My brother is no boy when blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what is the answer here, guys? Was snowboarding. My brother was snowboarding? And also broke. When he broke, broke. Uh -huh. his leg, very good. Okay, number two. That is, was heaven and was found. Heaven and found. Yeah. Okay, several years ago, I was having problems with math, so I I found a tutor, a tutor to help me. Okay, the couple. I think it was having. Having ha had. Had okay. Very good. Child when they were living in a tiny apartment. Okay, hold on, guys. What is the answer for number two? Several years two, ago. Several years ago. I was having problems with math, so I found. Found. Okay, very good. All right. So I the couple. Very good. Number three. The couple, the couple had the, their first child when they were living. Were living in a tiny they, apartment. When they were living in a tiny apartment, okay. When I was, uh, when I was what? While I, I was driving, was driving at Ireland a few years ago. I realized. Realize. I was on the wrong side of the road. Oh, okay, great. Uh, five. All right. Your was reading. Your right, no. All right, All right. What was, was reading a reading good book? A good book, but someone told or her the ending. The ending. Good job. Okay, so number number six. While my bro, my mother was cooking dinner last night the phone ran three okay. times was cooking dinner last night the phone ran three times very good seven tracy tracy and eric met 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 when they were working, working, working. at the same restaurant in good job Chicago. You got it. Good you got job. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, very good. Good. Very good. Okay. You're making me pass the platform. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. I don't have to do it. But very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So then the other one we got is this one, right? 
2.9. Uh, so the answer is here. What? Have you? Have, have you, you been doing? Been doing, been doing lately. lately. Very good. Well, I well, have, have been, been, been spending, spending my free, free time, time at the beach. At the beach. Very good. Have uh, you? Have you? Have you been working? Been working part time this year? year? Very good. Yes. I. Yeah. Yes, I, I have. have. I have been I making drink at coffee time for the past three months. Very <laughs> good. Okay. How? 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 Have you, you been feeling you recently? Been feeling recently. Very good. Great. Right. I have I been, been getting, getting a lot of sleep. sleep and I, I have, have been eating as much since I started dieting. My date. Very good. And then uh, this one. Have you been, have you been getting, getting enough exercise, exercise lately? Lady. Have you been getting, right? Mm -hmm. Right enough exercise lately? No? No, no I, haven't. I haven't. I have I've been studying mm -hmm. a lot of for a big exercise. Big exam. I've been studying a lot for a big exam. Very good. Studying. Mm. Hmm. For which yeah. one? Is, the last one isn't correct. So let's analyze that. No. It says, Hi, have, you been, have you been getting enough exercise lately? No, I haven't. Right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. what? I. I've been I studying. Been studying. Mm -hmm. Studying. This one? The, the, the last one. All right, very good. Yeah. I've been starting. All right, very good. Uh, and that's the end of section two, guys. All right, and then let's go over the, the midterm. All right, so... Oh, no, but the midterm comes after section three. Yeah, section three and midterm. Okay, so never mind. So, so English Cooperativo was asking you for... Section one and two, then, right? Only, yeah, exactly. All right, very good. So, are we good? Did we complete section one and two? Then, one and two, one, one and two. two. Awesome, yes. awesome. awesome. Yes, I finish. Awesome, guys. So, let's get started then. All right, so today we're going to talk about simple past and past progressive. Okay, so, anyways, let's get down to it. Okay. So uh, we're gonna go over the two uh, the two terms today, guys. Okay, and we're gonna have some practice at the end. Okay. Now, I actually, guys, noticed that for some reason Zoom is Zoom's uh, audio is not working when I share this, so you're not gonna be able to listen to it. Okay, so we're gonna have to skip over this. Okay, I want somebody to help me read this part right here. So who would like to help me read? The simple past and the past progressive, mm -hmm. also past continuous, are used to express actions in the past. We use the simple past as the narrative form of the past to express complete sequential actions. We use the past progressive to say what was happening at a particular moment in the past to set the SN uh, to emphasize duration of uh, past actions. All right, great. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, okay. Repeat okay. guys, used. This is used. 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 This is used. used. Good job, used, right? So, all right. Um, okay, so guys, did you understand all of this? Because I didn't, <laughs> I did not. It's a lot of information, right? No, of course, we can understand it, right? But uh, to be honest, right, we like simple things, guys. We like simple things. Don't you like simple things? So, check this yes, out. Yes, of course. Simple pass. What do we use simple pass for? Finished actions. That's what it says there, right? Okay. And then... Uh, we as a scenario form the past express complete sequential action, past progress to say what was happening, right? 
So yeah, past progressive or past continuous, right? Past continuous, right? What do we use it for? Continuous action in the past. Okay. So that's what we use past continuous for. And then, right, it says that, um, you know, we, we can use duration and whatnot. So basically, guys, all of this text is saying, hey, we use, you know, simple past for finished actions. And it says finished in the past, right? Finished actions because it happened in the past. So, but I'm going to emphasize that in the past, okay? Right? So, finished actions in the past and continuous actions in the past. And that's what we use simple past and past continuous for. So far, is it good? Let's see, guys. Let's see. What's a what's what's a finished action? Somebody, please tell me a finished action. Edgar, right? Let's say, guys. Let's. let's this is just an example, right? I could okay. say a finished action in the past, guys. Okay, Edgar can say, right? My girlfriend uh, left me, right? Is that is that finished or not, guys? <laughs> that is <a> finished. <laughs> finished. <laughs> hey, your girlfriend left you, Edgar, because now you have a wife, right? So, yes. anyway, <laughs> right, very good, very good. See, guys, this is a finished action, right? What is a continuous action? What was a continuous action in the past? I'm yeah. still working somewhere. at the same place. I was. Remember, I was. I was working in the same place. In the same place, right? I can say I was working in the same place. Okay, very good. And those are, you know, that's an example of each of them, right? So simple past and past progressive, or past continuous. It's the same thing, right? So. So let's uh, go deeper into this and see what we can find. So uh, those are the three things we use the past continuous for and the, the four things we use the past simple for, okay? So in the first example, guys, and write that down in your notebook, it says that we use simple past, a past continuous, I'm sorry, to describe an action in progress in the past, right? It's what I told you, something that was happening in the past. Right? Right. All right. So something that has happened in the past. Now, then comes the most interesting part, which is to describe two, more, two or more simultaneous actions. Do you know what that means, guys, simultaneous? At the same time. At the same time, all right? So they were happening, guys, at the exact same time, okay? So, so over here, right, um, this is what we're going to be talking the most. So that's that's actually the, it's not difficult, but the part that you Teacher, have to practice. Can you, can you give the, the exam, no, the example? for the, to describe two or more simultaneous action. Yes, yes, we're gonna go over that, yes. It's part of the class. So yes, we're gonna, we're gonna see that. We're gonna see that for now, but yes, no worries, All right? And we also guys use it to describe an action that was in progress and was interrupted. This is also something that we are gonna see in the class. And that is the thing that we need to study the most, right? So. These are the things, guys, that we use past continuous for, right? And then we use past simple. We use past simple for four things. What are the four things? Can somebody please tell me read? To describe situation that finished in the past. To describe past hab habits. To describe one complete, complete past action after another. 
open. Let me see. To describe an action that that interrupt interrupt an action in progress. Very good, guys. So the first one, guys. A situation that finished in the past, right? Past habits. Yes. Um, completed actions after another action, right? And an interrupt, an interrupted action in progress. Okay, this is what we're going to be focusing on too. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so the the structure for simple past is well, we have. We have to take a look at regular verbs and we have to take a look at irregular verbs. First of all, guys, regular verbs follow the same rule, right? They will all have ed or d at the end, okay? For example, I worked. Repeat, guys, I worked. I worked. I worked. worked. Very good, I worked, right? But, now, the, but the sound is like t. Yeah, yeah, that's... There is something that you need to study, guys, if you don't know this now, right? If you still don't know this, there's a topic called ED endings, okay? All right. Look for it on Google or just, yeah, just Google it, right? ED endings, okay? The pronunciation is not work it, it's worked, right? Work. It sounds like work, like this, work. work. And there is a T at the end, worked. Like that worked, right? So, so worked, right? Now, they are called guys. They are called uh, regular. Why, guys? They, we're not. We're not gonna go over guys regular versus regular verbs, right? I'm gonna go over a quick explanation on them, okay? Uh, just so you remember. But why are they regular? The very regular are the no change the the form. Exactly right. So, for example, guys, work the the base form, right? We talk about the base form. Um, work is one. Hold on. So, the base form will be work. Then let's have another one. What about sleep? Is this regular or not? Can yes, I say regular? So I can say slept Slipped. like that. Can I say that? Slept. Can I say slept? And that you have two P section. Can I say this slept? Mm, no. No. Slept. It's slept, right? So because yes. guys, because yes. we don't that is irregular. It's irregular. There you go. All right. So this is irregular. All right. Uh, what about um, swim? Is this regular or irregular or irregular? Irregular. See, irregular. because irregular. we the, because irregular. we cannot say we can because we cannot say. Streamed, right? We can't say streamed, and that's why it's irregular. Okay. Irregular. Um, can we say? I don't know. I guess talk. What about talk? Can we say it's talk? Reg regular. Very talk good. So this is regular, guys. What makes what makes uh what makes a verb regular is that they have an e they have an ed ending. Okay. So for example, talked, right? Um, walk right. Walk that is also regular, because we can say walk. It's regular. It's regular. Right? Walk. Walk. We can say um, live right. Live. That is also regular, right? Because Lived. we still have an Indian who lived. Lived. Right. Lived. 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 All right. Decide right. Decide. Decide is regular, right? Decided. Because we have decided, right? Okay, decided. all right. So those are the two, <clears throat> the two types of verbs that we have <clears throat> in English, guys. I'm not gonna go over them because that's from a basic level, right? But that's just so you can remember. Now, in past progressive, guys, 
well, in simple, I'm sorry. In simple past, we follow this rule. So we're gonna say the verb in the past, right? So we're gonna have the subject. Let me erase all of it. So we're gonna have the subject followed by the verb in the past, okay? See, subject, and then we have the verb in the past, right? Subject, right? And then we have the verb in the past. That is the structure. And then you can have a complement, okay? But what's going on with past progressive? What is the difference in past progressive? What do you see? In past progressive, we use it uh, yeah, auxiliary. Verb to be. Exactly. So we have the subject, okay? So we're still gonna have the subject. And then we have the verb be, okay? All right, and then we also have, guys, a present participle, which is the ing form of the verb. Okay, I was speaking. Okay, now there is a difference. So the verb be can be, we can have, we can use the verb be in two ways. We have was and we have where. What is the difference between them both? Let's see if you remember. Where is from plural? No, was is for the first person and the, the third person. person and the where is for the third person in plural in the uh -huh, in plural. Singular. For now in plural, plural. All right, very good. So guys, so we have singular nouns, right? Okay, and we have- DJ, DJ I have a question, now. DJ. Tell me. Uh, I want to know what the difference uh, about the pronouns. Uh, when you say, I was speaking, uh, uh, sorry. Um, when you say they were speaking, um, when you say, where do you go? The different pronunciation, where and where? It's the same pronunciation, the exact same. Where and where is the same. For example, where were you? Where were you? It's the same thing. Where were you? Same. Uh, yes. Same they don't have any okay. difference in pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good. All right, very good. Guys, so we use was, guys. So somebody said, right, we use was for, for singular nouns and we use plural for, we use where for plural nouns, right? Now, you, all right? You is actually, this can be used for singular, right? And they can be used for plural, right? But you always use you guys, you always, always, always use you with where. It doesn't matter if you use it in singular, in, in their singular form or, or their, um, or it's, I mean, it doesn't matter if you use it in, in its, singular form or it's plural form okay you're always going to use where got it you can't you can't use you was this is incorrect okay you cannot you can't say you was it is grammatically incorrect okay teacher uh, i no. have a question tell me why is incorrect you use you was but i understand the was is singular and where is in plural. Yes. What is the plural of, what is, okay, you, did you know that you is plural too? Do you know that you is plural? Uh, no, I think it's singular. You, how do you say ustedes? There. No, you say you. No, so that's why, right? It's, it's plural. It's plural and it's also singular. You say, if you see you are, you are here. Oh, you are here, right? And you're seeing a lot of people in front of you, right? So you're seeing a lot of people. Oh, you are here. You're referring to all of them. People, you should, you should say you all, right? Or you guys are here. Oh, you guys are here, right? So make the difference, right? But you are here, it means you all are here, okay? It's plural. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. 
okay? So anyways, you was doesn't exist, guys, okay? If you hear it in movies, guys, um, people talk, like, it is grammatically incorrect, right? You might hear some uh, black people talk uh, like you was, right? But that, that is like incorrect. That is, um, that is slang, you know? It shouldn't be used in grammatically correct sentences, okay? All right, and then, guys, we have, okay, so we have the ing form of the verb, okay? That's how we're going to build sentences in simple past and past progressive, all right? Now, there are verbs, guys, that are only used in simple past. What are they? Of course, the verb be, right? Well, there's something, guys, that we, we call stative verbs, all right? Stative verbs what are stative verbs guys okay stative verbs represent things that you cannot do this guys how do you represent do my favor everybody do this exercise how do you represent running with your hands show me show me how do, how you represent running with your hands exactly cecilia see how do you represent the action of love with your hands Ah, no, no, that's not, that's not an action. How do you present the action of loving? A state. You can't, you cannot, okay, no. Guys, que acción, que acción es amar, really? Como te hace sudar amar? Well, don't think about that, okay? I'm talking about the action, you know, loving like like the 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 feeling, right? You can't, okay? What about uh, have? Right? You can't represent it, guys. So so basically, guys, you can't say I am loving you. Have you ever heard this, guys? Instead, why do people say I love you, not I am loving you? Right? It is not grammatically correct, okay? Because it represents a state. So we're not gonna use them. We can use them as gerunds, okay? Si se pueden usar como gerundios, because a gerund is a noun, but they cannot be used as present participle uh, verbs, okay? Because they cannot represent a continuous action. No pueden representar una acción continua, por eso no se pueden usar como present participles. Got it? All right, so, uh, so just keep that in mind, all right? So this is the part that I wanted to talk to you about. This is the, the interesting part, when and why. So pay attention, guys, because if you don't pay attention, you're going to get lost, for real. This is, the, this is the part, guys, that, that I told you that was not hard, but you need, to, you need to practice a lot, okay? So past continuous, guys, and simple past can be combined, okay? So that's where that's 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 what I wanted to get at. Okay. So do my favor, guys. Let's have some examples. Take a look at this. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the first example. Who wants to help me read the first example, guys? Me, teacher. Go ahead. While while I was having lunch, the alarm went went off. Very good. He was. Uh, Go ahead. J just stop. Just stop right here. Let me ask you something, guys. Mm, do you remember what a class is? Do you know what a class is? A class? A class like this. Class. Do you know what that is? It's like a sentence uh, of talking about the uh, one action. Hmm, okay. All right. Does anybody else have any other idea what that is? Join of the sentence. Mm, joining sentences. Okay. All right. I want you to write down, guys, this because this is going to be. I'm going to say clauses. I'm going to say clause a lot, guys. I'm going to use that that term a I'm lot. Active. Okay, guys. No. A clause. Okay. A clause is a group. First of all, it's a group of words, okay? All right. Secondly, 
um, it contains a predicate. It contains a verb. Okay? That is a clause. A clause is not a sentence. It can be a sentence, but it's not a sentence. So, for example, my shoes are nice. Is this a clause? Yes or not? What do you think? Yes. Yes. It's a close. Let's analyze the why. Um do we have a do we have a sub do we have a, a group of words? Hold on. I forgot something here. It contains it, a predicate. Hold on. I forgot something. It contains a subject, okay? Okay, so now this is three and this is four. So guys, is it a group of words, yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes of course, guys, we have a group of words, right? Subject, does, does, it, does it contain a subject? Yes. Yes. Does it contain a predicate? Yes. Yes. Yes, right? And we have a verb. Yes or no? Yes. So yes. So if it contains yes. these four things, guys, it is a clause, okay? Mm, what about this? Oh, by the way, is this, is this a sentence? What, yes or no? What is the difference? For, for me, it's a sentence, too. Yeah, it is a sentence, too, because it, yes. ends, with a, it ends with a period. But no. A, sent, a clause is not a sentence. For example, I can say, I have not cut my hair because I didn't think it was necessary. How many sentences do we have here? Two. two sentences. Only one sentence, guys. What do you mean two sentences? We only have one sentence. I have not cut my hair because I didn't think it was necessary. One sentence, two clauses. Yes, we have one sentence and two clauses, right? What is the where is the first clause? I have not, I cut, have my not, cut, I have my not hair. cut my hair. Very good. See a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate, right? All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the second one, right? Do we have a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate? Yes. Yes. Right? Subject yes. and predicate, right? And it starts and with because. It actually starts with because. Because I didn't think it was necessary. We have, so we have one, right? So we have one clause, two clauses. We have two clauses and we have one period at the end, right? We have one sentence. A sentence, guys, is a group of words that portrays a complete idea that makes sense, okay? So we have one sentence, got it? Now, do you understand the difference between a clause and a sentence? So, so coach, uh, can you repeat the difference, please? Yes, who'd like to explain it, guys? What is the difference between a clause and a sentence? I, I understand that a sentence can be a clause, though the clause can be a sentence. Okay. So let's go over it one more time. So a clause is this, guys. Do you see what it says here? What is it? It's a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate with a verb. Got it? That is a clause. So Mm. If I said um, that I, no, that um, that are fast, is this a sentence? Yes. No. Because 
it's not logical, all right? A sentence, guys, yeah, it finishes with a period. And yes, that could be like, oh, you know what? That is a sentence, a sentence because it has a period. But the idea, guys, is not a full idea, okay? Is that a clause, yes or no? To answer that question, guys, Edson and everybody, pay attention. To answer that question, use this. Is it a group of words, yes or no? Yes, it is. Does it have a subject? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Does it have a predicate? Yes. Past. Okay. Yes. Past. And it has a verb, right? There. So you said, okay, the only thing that you said is that uh, it doesn't have a subject, right? So if it doesn't have a subject, it's not a, it's not a clause, right? Is that right? That okay. would be correct. Guys, if that is the case, that would be correct. Okay? Si ese fue el caso, eso estaría correcto. But yes, guys, he has a subject, and he has a predicate, and he has a verb. The subject, guys, is that. All right? R is the verb. Well, in past, well, this is the predicate, right? So we got the predicate with the verb. And this is the subject. Okay? Why is it the subject? Because that is what we call, guys, a relative. We call this a Thanks. relative pronoun, right? Now, I know that that you can use, oh, that is my my notebook, right? And that is a demonstrative adjective. No, but no, this is not an adjective, right? Right now, this is not working as an adjective, okay? So, anyways, no le voy a explicar que son relative pronoun, guys. Son cosas de nivel avanzado de inglés, okay? Solo sepan que that es el sujeto aquí porque es un pronombre, okay? That is working as a pronoun, okay? So, yes. Sure. Sí, por guys, example, le voy a decir en español la última vez antes de que me pregunten. Si tiene, si cumple estos cuatro requisitos, es una clause, okay? All right. Okay. Yes, you said, for example, what? I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay. For example, uh, the, the, the sentences, uh, I, cannot, I cannot remember what happened uh, last night. What happened? Uh, Not what happened. What happened? What happened? Uh -huh. uh, for example, what? It can be the subject. Yes. Hold on. So could could be could be what? what the subject. No, because here's the thing. That's right. Subject. Now, uh, is this one clause or two clauses, guys? Two clauses. Right. So what happened mm -hmm. last night? Right. That's what happened last night? I can't remember. So I can't remember, right? We have a well, we have a group of words, and we have now we have remember, right? But guys, I can't remember. What are we missing here? Que nos falta? Si esta fuera una clause, guys, que nos falta? No, si tenemos verbo. We have a verb. What are we missing? Predicate. predicate very good exactly guys we don't have a predicate right so we have we have a group of words we have a subject but we don't have a predicate okay all right okay. so we we so we don't have a predicate so therefore the clause is only one because the whole predicate is this so we have one clause got it does that make sense Okay. All right. So in this one case, we have one clause, right? Because we were missing the predicate. Okay. But in your, but, but yeah, it's still a clause, right? It's a sentence. It's a sentence and it's, it is one clause. Okay. All right. We have, I can give you another example. Uh, that is the. Mm, Let's see. I I can't speak Spanish, um, but I can speak English. All right? How many sentences do we have here? 
one. We have one sentence, right? Mm -hmm. And how many clauses do we have? The, there are two. There are mm -hmm. two clauses, right? I can speak Spanish, but I can speak but English. I can speak one English. And two. All right. Now, do we all yes. understand, guys, what a clause is? Yes. All right. Claro, guys. Todos entendemos que es una cláusula. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. Awesome, guys. Okay. So I need to talk about this. Okay. So how do we combine? How do we combine simple past and past simple? And how do we use while and when? Okay. So first of all, let's talk about while. All right. So while, guys, while will always be followed. And there are some exceptions, but we're not going to talk about them. But while will always be followed by what is what tense is this, guys? What? Grammatical tense is that? Past progressive, right? So Fast while, guys. Okay, so while will always be followed by past progressive, okay? So the past progressive, all right? While plus past progressive, okay? All right, and I want you to take a look at the side of when. When will always be followed by? What comes after when, simple guys? Past. Simple past. Okay, plus simple past. All right, very good. So while is followed by past progressive and when is followed by simple past, okay? So I want you to take a look at the first example. So how many clauses do we have in the first example? While I was having lunch, the alarm went off. Two clauses. We have two clauses. You're right, we have two clauses. All right. Um, so we have two clauses, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want you to notice something. Okay. The first clause guys is in past progressive because it's using one, right? So this is an action that was happening continuously in the past, right? You were having lunch and then guys, something interrupted that action. What interrupted that action guys? What interrupted you having lunch? The alarm went off. The alarm went off, exactly, guys, okay? Hey, estabas teniendo tu almuerzo, pero te interrumpió, algo te interrumpió ese almuerzo. ¿Y qué fue? Que la alarma, que la alarma sonó, okay? All right, are we getting the point now, guys? All right, so past continuous guys or while will be used with a long action, right? While is a long action and when is used for a short action or simple past, okay? Take a look at this. He was watching TV when somebody knocked the door, right? So I want you to notice something here, here too. Are we using while here? No, right? Okay, so if you, okay, so you can use while or, and that's a big or, guys. You can use while or you can use when, but you cannot use both of them together. I repeat, you can use while or, or you can use when, but you cannot use both of them together, okay? All right? While and when, guys, es como que son las dos novias que tenés. Right? No se pueden ver, right? O es una o es la otra, got it? Got but it. you can't use both of them, right? O los dos novios que tenés, I don't know, right? Got it? So, it, it is like I have a question me, for me. this topic. Tell me. What happened, what happened if I combine it while and when? Les acabo de decir que no se puede hacer eso. No, pero why? Why not? Why not? 
O sea, ¿cómo, cómo se, se sería eso? ¿Cómo no, no, se oyera? No, no Spanish, though. No Spanish. You cannot speak Spanish. It's no. like the water and oil. <laughs> It's like water and oil. The white man. Correct grammar. All right, so you cannot say, guys, while, you, you can't say, while I was running, when I saw a cat. You can't say that because they have the same meaning, okay? Yeah. When and why, they have the same meaning. And even when you pronounce it, does it make sense to you? When I, while I was running, when I saw a cat. Does that make sense? Does it sound logic when you pronounce it? No, right? So you can say, while I was running, I saw a cat. Or you can say, I was running. When, when I, I saw, saw a cat. cat. Yeah, exactly. All right. Even, and you can literally translate this, right? If you said, cuando yo estaba corriendo, cuando vi un gato. Do we say it like that, guys? No, right? Ah, I understood. I understood the... It means the same thing. The difference. All right. So... Very good, very good. Okay, so you can you can only say say like this or like this. They mean the same thing, right? But when will be followed by simple past and while will be followed by past progressive. They mean the same thing. And here, guys, we are talking about one thing, one very important thing. We're talking about what? Interrupted, right? Actions. What are we talking about, guys? Interrupted options. Interrupted okay. options. I want everybody, I want everybody right now, guys, to send me in the chat. First of all, guys, turn on the cameras, okay? For those people who have their cameras turned off, please turn them on. All right. Very good. I want everybody to send me an example, guys. Okay. You're gonna send me an example using um you're gonna give me three sentences no actually two sentences okay all right you're gonna give me two sentences you're Day gonna give year. me you're gonna hey. all right hold, guys give me one second you're gonna give hey, me a sentence hey. guys guys give me one second hold on okay here. In a moment. you're the first teacher no hold on hold on listen guys listen listen it's cool chat all right hold on hold on thank you for participating but listen Al chat me van a enviar, okay? That's what I just said, all right? Al chat me <laughs> sorry, van a enviar sorry. dos oraciones, right? You're gonna send me, everybody will send me. Yes, no Spanish, but I need to understand, right? So you're gonna send me, guys, two sentences, all right? You're gonna use, with one, guys, I want you to use why, and with the other one, I want you to use when. Just like the examples that we have here, okay? Justo como los ejemplos que tenemos aquí. Got it? Got it. All right, Got so it. everybody right now, send me your two examples and let's go. You can use, you can use they, you can use we, you can use Cheyenne, right? Hmm. You can use the dog, right? You don't need to say I all the time, right? So let's go. Is there in this chat or WhatsApp chat? No, here, here, this chat. Teacher, a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, we can use uh, uh, the, we can use while at, um, uh, at, at the end, in middle of, and the beginning of the sentence. You can use while in the middle of the sentence? How the so? Uh, what, what is the example that you have in mind? Uh, for example, last week I was fixing my car. Why? For example. Oh yeah, yeah. I, oh, I got you, got you, brother. So yes, you can you can say I saw a cat 
while I was why running. My wife. Yes. My. Yes. Good question. Very good question, guys. You can switch the first clause and the second clause. Okay. You can start with, I saw a cat while I was running. The, the only difference, guys, is that you're not going to use a comma if you do that. You can also say, I was running. I'm sorry. And here we shouldn't be using a comma. I can't erase it. In the second example, I was running when I, when I saw a cat. We shouldn't be using a comma, right? We're going to use a comma, guys, when we start with either while or when, okay? But here you can say, I was running when I saw a cat, or you can say, when, um, when I saw a cat, comma, I was running. But this would be, people wouldn't say it like that, right? When I saw a cat, I was running, okay? But it is possible to use it like this. All right, very good question. Thank you. All right, so let's take a look at your examples, ladies and gentlemen. Um, while he was working, he received a text message. Good job, Eduardo. Fernando, while he was running, he lost his watch. Very good. There, you're missing a comma, Fernando, but that's that's everything else is fine. After running, you should use a comma. While I was watching TV, the light went out. Good job. Teacher, why, why is important use the comma? Why is it important to use the comma in Spanish, in French, in, in Portuguese? Why is it important to use the comma, Fernando, in languages? Uh, I, for separating the ideas. Yes, to separate clauses and to make pauses when speaking, right? Okay, the commas are very important. But yes, here, after you have the second, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna start with while, even when you're speaking, you should you should make a pause. While he was working, pause, he received the text message, right? So here, uh, because we have two clauses and the one that starts with, if you start with the clause with while, a comma, because it's a grammar rule, needs to be placed, okay? Right? That's what the rules for, from English say. If you had started the sentence without while, then you don't need to use a comma there. All right, all good. Did that answer your question, Fernando? Oh, no, it's clear for me. It's clear or not? I'm sorry, I didn't. No, it's not clear. Or yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear for me. Sorry. Okay, very, very good, very good. Thank you, man. Is Thank you. Tell me. I so finished the chair. Okay, right. Very good. I'm, I'm still reading, guys. Uh, while I was watching TV, the light went out. The lights went out. That that should be, the dog really, that should be in, in plural, right? And that would be lights went out, not the lights. I was running in the park when I saw my best friend. When is in capital letters, but just uh, just lowercase there and you'll be fine. While Shakir was singing, she thought 
she thought about, the preposition should be about her children. All right, she thought about her children. While I was watching TV, after. Teacher, uh, but you saw that we, we can't combine a while and when. And yeah. I'm, I'm watching some question, uh, for example, uh, I was um, I was dancing while I'm gonna finish what well, prepare your question and I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish reading the examples okay they're, yeah. wa they're watching the movie in the cine at the cinema or in the cinema when the weather was raining no you can say when it started raining or when the weather changed Fernando right but you can't say when the weather was raining. That doesn't make sense. They were watching the movie um, in the cinema when the weather changed or when it started to rain. Very good. While she was eating, she dropped her juice. My mother was cooking when I have, when I had, remember that you need to use simple past Alejandro, but very good job. It was weather, yeah. I was listening to music, Gabriela, you should say to music. Uh, when my dad called me, Raul Benitez, last week I was fixing my car while my wife, well, well my wife cooked the meal, okay? Well, while I was working on my project, my dog. No, you're using two past progressive forms Peter, there, Raul. How do you say se puso lluvioso el clima? It started to rain or Rowdy. it became it became rainy. It turned the weather turned, you know, became rainy. It started to rain. Became rainy. Became rainy, right? Or you know, the day turned rainy. You can say that too. Turned rainy. When I was eating uh, okay. All right, very good guys, very good. All right, so all right, most of your examples are good, guys. Okay, so I think you got a clear idea what the topic was. Uh, Raul, you had a question for me, right? Raul? Hola. Do, do you still have the question for me? Here, I, uh, my question is, last week I was fixing my car while my wife cooked cook the meal. While my wife was cooking the meals, actually. Guys, here's the thing, okay? What is your question, Raul? What did you, uh, I, I, I don't have any question, did you? You don't have any question? <laughs> okay, guys, you can use while with past progressive and past progressive, but that's the, the topic for Monday, okay? Not right now. Right now, we're talking about interrupted actions. But yeah, you can use it like that. But you can never use while and when together. Most of your examples, guys, were good. We're missing commas, guys. We're missing periods at the end. We're uh, typing in the, um, you know, capital letters when there should be lowercase. But, but you're good, you know. The idea, guys, behind the grammar topic and the grammar structure is good. So congratulations. You appear to have understood that topic all right let's just polish you know our answers okay do you have any questions for me guys before we leave did we learn anything new today tomorrow we have class we not have tomorrow class? not tomorrow on monday yes okay. on monday yeah no no i want to sleep guys i want to sleep on tomorrow so no we're not gonna have a class <laughs> All right, no. Um, anyways, guys, thank you very much, guys, for coming here. I will see you on Monday, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Thank care, you. Guys. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.